Hi everyone, in this short video I want to show you how you can use the plugin Habits and Summaries to generate summaries from your habit, to track your habits and generate those kind of summaries which you can see here. And first of all we open the preferences, then navigate to plugins and then the plugin which we need is Habits and Summaries. So you need to install this by clicking on the download button if it's not downloaded yet. And it has four commands but let's read first the, uh, the summary here. It can generate summaries from your notes for a given time period and saves it to your notes. It can save it to the current note, can save it to your weekly or monthly notes, and it can show a heat map for your tasks which you have finished over time. And it's written by Jonathan, a community member, and you can click on more details to read um, the documentation of this plugin. So this opens the following website, this one, and you can scroll a bit down and you see this screenshot here as an example of how the summaries uh, will be printed into your note and it works based on tags so you have to add tags to your tasks for example or just uh, to the note somewhere and it will count them uh, it can also calculate averages and totals so if you you if, if you just want to count tags or habits in this case you can use hashtags if you want to count uh, for example hours calories or uh, something like this you can use add tag for example you can use e add email and you put in rounded brackets 10 for 10 minutes for example 10 hours or anything you want to use or at writing at coding and so on so if you want to count things and then it creates the the totals here on the right side instead of uh, only counting the habits so this is basically how you can get started. Here's, here are a couple of examples like the steps, the distance, heart rate and so on. And I show you how you can configure it and an example. So let's go back to no plan and I have created as you can see here a couple of tags already for emails, gym and Spanish and they are all add tags which I'm counting uh, which are for me these are hours in this case and let's see how this works. So we click on the preferences button still in the plugins preferences beside the plugin and here you can define a lot of things but the most important are first uh, if you want to insert the progress update like what I did here in this node you can define how many days it will scan so these are the last seven days but you can also say uh, week to date user week to date so if you are uh, depends when your first day of week is, how your first day of week is set up, month to date, last two weeks and so on. But just for the example, I use last seven days. So today minus and uh, last seven days from today. And you can define where it should be written, like current is the current note, which is currently open, could be also daily and weekly. And here you see, you can read more of the details, but let's go uh, to the most important part you need to define which tags the plugin should track. So you can define the hashtags. They only work to, uh, with hashtags you can only count habits, but with mentions or add tags you can also uh, calculate averages and totals. So in my case, I wanted to calculate the total hours I've spent on emails, gym and Spanish learning. And I've defined them here, comma separated. So at gym, comma at emails, comma at Spanish. If you if you see a problem, if something is not counted correctly, you probably need to check if you have set it up here correctly. Like what I did as a mistake before, I forgot uh, to use e I used email instead of emails, for example. So you can define this here, and basically I copied this and pasted it in the next section for period stats also in mentions to total. You can basically copy it if you want to use it in both. And the other settings go deeper, but let's first start with those two. So I close this and I show you how I created this. So you can delete this and you hit command J and then slash append. You don't need to type out the complete command. You can see it already auto completed here. And so append progress update, append weekly, monthly habit and progress update to the current node. So let's click on this. So it calculates it and pastes this here in at the end of the current node. And we, as you see, this is for the last seven days. Uh, one example here, I have a time block for reviewing messages 
uh, these are basically when I read my emails and I define it here at emails uh, and then in rounded brackets 1.2 for one hour and uh, 1.2 hours basically or Spanish half an hour gym half an hour so now I have pro uh, created this progress update today so it's uh, it's hard to compare weeks this way so what we can do is we can use the other command period stats and then we can define here which week so I have now prepared it for the last week week 18 so let's click on uh, last week it creates the stats and then you can define where it should edit can edit it can create a folder summary for you and create a summary notes there but let's just say add or update the weekly calendar note uh, week 18 so you click on this wait and then it comes here let's make it a little bigger and you see it's the same thing but for the for week 18 in this case and you can do this every week and then compare it uh, for example by opening the weeks and split view side by side just to see how you are doing with your habits so these are the two most important uh, commands I want to show you a third one which is the heat map so you just type heat map and then enter and then it generates it and opens a new window and here you see how many tasks you have cr uh, checked off for specific days and you can hover over them and see also uh, the amount of complete tasks just to give you an idea when you worked uh, of how much you worked in specific uh, specific days so I hope you like this video and if you have feedback let us know